What's up everybody? Thanks for stopping by the channel. I wanted to do a quick follow-up on some specs for the Phoenix E18R flashlight that I posted a real quick video about uh, the other day. Um, the E18R is Phoenix's ultra compact uh, EDC or everyday carry flashlight. This thing is uh, like I said in the other video, I'm really impressed with it. I'm not a huge flashlight guy, so I don't really know, you know, uh, all the other brands out there. I, I kind of stick to a few of the, probably the, the most used brands, Phoenix, Streamlight, Surefire, things like that. But I'm sure there's a bunch of other flashlights out there that you could use for EDC use. But when I saw this flashlight, I was in, you know, I was in the market for a new one and I saw this, the size of it was great and the fact that this thing pumps out a max uh, of 750 lumens at a distance of 446 feet was a huge selling point for me and um, so I had to get it. Uh, this flashlight set me back about 65 bucks. You might be able to find it on Amazon or online someplace else for cheaper than that but uh, I got mine at uh, my local sportsman's and it was about $65. So it, it's really a great looking flashlight. It's tough. Uh, it's made of uh, oxidation resistant aluminum. So it, it really does feel good in the hands, giggity. And um, I'm just really impressed with the quality and the overall build of it. I've had a couple Phoenix flashlights before, but it definitely seems like they're, they're really stepping up their game here. I like the two-tone coloring on this, like with this brass colored ring on it. Same thing on the uh, operation button here. And um, yeah, so really, really, uh, really like the look and feel of this, of this flashlight. It's, it's pretty small. You're, you're only looking at about 2.4 inches long. I mean, literally this thing's about as long as my thumb. So very small flashlight, but you're not sacrificing uh, any of the lumen output um, when you're getting something this small, which is pretty cool. So for anybody that's looking for an EDC light, maybe you want to, uh, you know, just have a light in your pocket that's not uh, huge, um, or maybe you're, uh, you know, you like to do some night hiking, or you're a good, uh, you know, you're an avid camper, this would be a great light to have either as a primary or even a backup uh, flashlight uh, for you in those instances. Um, so, like I said, it's it's pretty small. Um, the diameter is 0.8 inches, so you're looking at about 20 millimeters here. Um, the weight is about 33 grams, so a little bit over an ounce. Uh, it's really not heavy. That's without the battery. I haven't weighed this yet to see what uh, what it what you know what it uh, comes out to on the scale with uh, with the uh, a battery, but. Really, you guys, it's really it's really not heavy. It's pretty small. Um, the battery it does come included, and let me just go ahead and take this off here so you can see. This is basically you just remove the end cap, and yet I believe you have a 700 milliamp battery. It is a, a 16340 battery, and just close that up. I uh, want to point out one thing here. It, the, the end of the, the, the threaded section here does have a, uh, an O-ring and uh, when you buy this, it does come with a, a spare O-ring in the event that you damage yours or yours gets uh, corroded or um, breaks apart. But in any case, so when you do buy it, uh, it comes with a battery, it comes with a lanyard. Mine didn't for some reason. Uh, I think I had an open box buy. So I just put on one of the other lanyards that I have, but it, it does come with a lanyard um, and it does come with this belt clip. Belt clip I wasn't really sold on at first, but it sort of grew on, on to me and, I, and I'll explain why here in a minute. Um, the Phoenix does offer a limited lifetime guarantee. So uh, I believe when you, when you purchase this inside the box, there's a little card and you're supposed to fill out some information. I would definitely do that. Um, any any flashlight that offers the, the warranty, you're gonna wanna register it uh, just in case. Um, I've had some other flashlights that, 
you know, I really just normal use and they just stopped working uh, for whatever reason. So, so that's kind of cool. And uh, you, regarding the battery real quick, um, I know it comes with the 16340 battery. Um, a CR123A lithium battery can be used um, for an emergency, but obviously if it's not um, rechargeable, then you're not gonna wanna use the, the charger here, and I'll show you that here in a second. But uh, yeah, you can use a CR123A battery in the event you're in a pinch, or uh, maybe you're using this and you kill the 16340 battery and the CR123As are the only ones you have laying around. So you can do that, um, it's up to you. But uh, let's see, so before I get into the operating on this, um, I, I wanna show you the, the kind of the coolest part about this, this uh, flashlight and that is the magnetic charging here. So when you purchase this, it does come with this cable here. So it doesn't come with a brick, but you basically just plug the USB into your power source and then it sort of has the old school Apple magnetic charging uh, connector here. Uh, it has two lights, one on this side and then one on the other side. When you, when you connect the, I can feel the, mag, the, the magnet pulling it here, but when you uh, connect it, when it is plugged in, this light will be kind of an amber color when it's, uh, when it's charging. When it's fully charged, that light's gonna be green and you know you're good to go. So pretty easy. Um, I haven't killed the battery in this yet, so I don't know exactly how long it would take to charge from you know zero percent. Um, but it seems that uh, it charges pretty quick. So um, if I if I can find that out, uh, I'll try to put that in the in the uh, comment section in the video. But the uh, flashlight does come equipped with a battery indicator, which is pretty neat as well. It's this uh, side button here. When you press it. Uh, it's glowing green. Uh, when it's glowing green, you know that you are basically good to go. And um, the, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so when it's glowing green like this, you know that you are uh, fully charged. So th that's the battery level indicator. Um, when, the, when, the, when it is green, you're at somewhere between 100% and 85% battery. When it flashes green, you're, it says that you're, you're at a sufficient level. So you're at 85% to 50%. If it is a constant red, then it's considered poor and you're at 50 to 25% battery. And if it's flashing red, you're at a critical stage, so you're basically less than, uh, you're at 25% or less, essentially. And that's when you're gonna wanna definitely charge. Um, the, when you're, so when you're charging on this, just also I wanted to point this out, if you are charging and you do need to use the flashlight, you can do that. It's obviously, it's just gonna affect the charging uh, time frame. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> okay, so when you are carrying the flashlight, it does have a physical lockout feature. Um, you don't, you know, because it is a side mounted button here, uh, activation button, you know, you could bump it into keys or something like that and turn the light on. So to, to prevent that, all you gotta do is slide the clip over the button and then there's no way that that's gonna uh, turn your flashlight on in your pocket. That is the lockout method I would recommend. I know that there's another one um, where you can use the button to do that. I wouldn't recommend doing it just because it's a little, it's just, it, to me it just takes a lot longer. Um, sliding this clip over the, the button um, pretty much shuts it down. So you're good to go there. Uh, let's go over some of, the, uh, some of the operating features here. Slide that over. Um, to turn, to turn the flashlight on, all you have to do is hold the side switch for about a half a second and it goes into the low mode. And um, to cycle it through the modes, it's pretty simple, just keep pressing that button. So it's in low right now, I can go to medium, 
I can go to high, and then I can go into turbo, okay? I can literally feel the heat coming off of the flashlight in the uh, turbo mode. So, kind of interesting. In the low mode, you're looking at an output of five lumen, and the max distance on that is about 46 feet, and your max run time is about uh, 70 hours, according to the Phoenix website. Uh, if you go into the medium mode, that's at 30 lumen, at a max distance of 82 feet, and you're looking at running that a, a little bit over 13 hours and uh, 50 minutes. You can go into the high mode, which is 150 lumen, max run time, two hours and 35 minutes, at a max distance of about 190 feet. And the turbo mode, uh, you're looking at 750 lumen at 45 minutes, and you're looking at a max distance of about 446 feet. Um, I, can, I can definitely feel that the, the light is getting warmer, um, not just on my hand, but actually the flashlight itself. The cool thing about this is when it, uh, when it starts to get too hot, the flashlight has some intelligence built into it that'll actually start to detune uh, and kind of go backwards on the lumen count. Um, it does have a strobe feature as well that's at 750 lumen. Um, so that's kind of nice if you need it. Um, just using it for those couple seconds, I can definitely feel that the, uh, the light is, is actually pretty warm. So this isn't going to be something where you're going to want to use this uh, light um, on, the high, on the turbo mode for extended periods of time because I can really feel the warmth on this. Um, it's actually a little hot to, to, to the touch. So something to think about. I mean, it is very small. You don't have a lot of room here to, to you know, to, to use it or to, to hold it. So pretty much wherever I touch it here, it's pretty warm. Um, you do have the ability to clip this to like your hat or something like that if you needed to do that. But, um, but overall, uh, you know, it, it's pretty small and um, it just seems to be really a, a, great, a great overall unit to, to use. It is um, IP68 waterproof. I'm not sure if I said that already, but um, to about two meters and it's totally dustproof. Anyway, it's a, it's a really great flashlight for somebody that is looking to, you know, just, just have a, a very small flashlight in their pocket uh, that they can use at any given point that is bright. Um, that's what I really like about this. The overall quality of the flashlight is really great. The, uh, the size is awesome. I love the fact that it's super small, and, but you're not sacrificing um, lumen output. This thing is super bright and I've used it out when I, you know, I take my dogs for walks and typically I'm not gonna use it in low mode. I'm gonna go right to the uh, turbo mode on this. And um, it's really awesome. Um, I, I really can't say enough good things about it. I'll try to throw some uh, you know, actual footage of the flashlight being used out in the uh, outside at night so you can see the, the beam on this, but uh, really can't say enough good things about it. Um, yeah, so if you guys are looking for uh, like a small flashlight, I would highly recommend you give this one a, a, a serious look. Um, Phoenix just makes great flashlights and um, you know, it's, it is what it is. It does exactly what it's supposed to do and I intend to carry this every day. So uh, if I can give you guys any kind of update on this, I will, but uh, I think for the most part it kind of is what it is. So if you're looking for a great flashlight, take a look at this. And uh, if you end up buying it, do me a favor, go into the comment section, put your feedback in there about it, and uh, we'll try to engage in, any, in some way on that. But if you guys like this video, if it helped you in any way on picking uh, you know, a, a new flashlight for your EDC purposes, do me a favor, hit the like button. Uh, if, you, if you enjoy the channel and you wanna see more content like this, if you wanna see you know, uh, more gear reviews and things like that, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, press the notification bell. Those things really help me out. It helps me know that you guys are actually interested in this. And if you have any suggestions on uh, flashlights or additional gear you'd like me to take a look at, uh, please, by all means, put, put, your, put your feedback and your recommendations in the comment section. Um, 
I want this to be a, an engaging uh, channel as much as possible. So uh, for now, I don't have anything else for you guys. So thanks for stopping by. And until the next time, I'll see you.